Okay, the uh, solution to this is actually very simple. So right now we have it so that uh, number two here, our product number two is currently clicked. Now let's say we want to change that and click this one here. So on page load, when the page loads, you want to be able to select this radio button. Well, it's very simple. What we're going to do is first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to grab a hold of this ID right there. And we're going to copy it. And then we're going to go into the JavaScript console inside of developer tools. And I'll show you what this looks like. And uh, let me clear that. Put this in so now what we're going to do is we're going to take that product id and we're just going to paste it right there so we're going to go v paste that in so that is now the product id for this third product and then when we click enter boom it automatically clicks it so if you run that code on page load that will work and what that code looks like simply in practice is this here so this part right here you got to obviously swap out with that product id that i pulled and where again you pull that from is you just come right in here and you click on it because it's already set as an id so you just come in here you can just double click on it and copy that and then paste it in to the code and it's right there. So what I will do is I will just copy this line. Obviously you need to put this inside of script tags and you could also do um, document ready inside of it. But I found that with ClickFunnels, if you, do, you don't need the document ready, uh, because everything that is not uh, prefaced with something like that will load immediately on page load. So it's really not necessary. So I will drop that in the code, or I'm sorry, into here. And then I will drop the video in here and that'll be it.